Okay, we're starting this from the inside out. This is the Julie Cottage. It was built uh, in 1804, between 1804 and 1808, it says. Another thing I read said uh, it was uh, 1805. But anyway, um, uh, Julie was a black woman, a free black woman, obviously. Um, and it's not known if she was a slave, had you know, had been a slave, was born a slave, was freed at some point, you know, or born free. No, no one seems to know, but that part isn't really even important to the to the context of the whole story. This building was taken from uh, somewhere nearby and moved here, as were most of these wood buildings. Um, so it wasn't here. But it was nearby, um, which I think is pretty neat. This is representative of the time period between 65 and 77, this sign behind me says, um, which is why you see photographs and, and things of that nature. Um, this is the bedroom. This, must, this is the drawing room they're calling this, okay? I don't even know what that means, but basically a living room. Um, several different doors, decent sized windows. Um, <coughs> excuse me, all sorts of really cool artifacts. This is a, a mannequin of what, I guess what, someone from that time period. What it looked like. Okay, so here we see it says the Julie Cottage. This is what the building looked like prior to being moved to its current location. So that's pretty cool. I didn't see that before. And that was in 1968, so that's where it was. Uh, it doesn't say the move and initial renovations were made by Theophilus May, contractor restoration specialist. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's where it was, but it doesn't say where it was. But it was a little bit run down. Who knows what it looked like from the inside? But no. Oh. from the outside in so you can see where this is original this wasn't so <coughs> who knows how many times it's been restored in 200 plus years but 